I love to wear colors. I especially love bold color pairings with my vintage style outfits. I often get asked about my process for choosing my color pairings and my color combinations. So I thought, why not make a video about it? If you want to learn how to incorporate more color into your wardrobe, or maybe you want to be a bit more daring with your color pairings, this video just might be for you. Hello and welcome to Chronically Overdressed. I'm Christine, also known as the Glambassador. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm a plus size vintage enthusiast and here on my channel, I make videos about vintage fashion, style, beauty, history, thrifting, and occasionally travel and vintage lifestyle vlogs. So if this interests you, I hope that you will join me for more content and videos. A few months ago, one of my patrons asked me about creative and bold color combinations. And she kind of asked me what my process was when I'm picking out outfits and putting colors together. Now, if you've watched any of my other style videos, you know that I love the phrase from Stacey London, it doesn't have to match, it just has to go. And I use this philosophy with color as well. So after talking to my patron a little bit, I decided to choose this topic for our monthly discussion meetup. If you're not aware, I do have a Patreon page and one of the benefits for my new look tier is I do a once a month live Zoom meeting. And this could be anything from a hair tutorial, makeup tutorial, or just a discussion about vintage fashion, style, and beauty. We always have a great time and I really enjoy connecting with my patrons. They learn something and I inevitably learn something as well. So I thought it would be fun to actually go through the process of putting an outfit together and pairing different colors and kind of showing my process. So I asked them to choose three main colors that would be the base for each outfit. I set everything up in my dressing room and we basically played dress up using my trusty assistant Penelope, my dress form. And I thought you would also like to see this process. So today I'm going to go through each of the base colors that they chose and show you different styles and color combinations that we came up with. Um, I'm going to model them on my dress form Penelope and then the final look that we chose I will go ahead and model that myself so you can see what it looks like on a real person. So the base colors that they chose were green, red, and blue. And I decided to make sure that they were solid colors in my styling just to make it a little bit easier to pair things together. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Well, I would like to introduce you to Penelope. This is my trusty dress form and she is going to be my assistant in modeling some of our looks today. As you can see, we're going to start off with green as our base color. And I've chosen this uh, solid color dress from Ishakti. When I asked my patrons to give me their opinion on what they think would pair very well with this, some of them said neutrals, creams, um, tans, browns, which is incredibly valid. Neutrals are spectacular for pairing with pretty much any color. Um, but through this whole color combination and trying to figure out different pairings, I wanted to be a little bit more bold. And so then they started to think about oranges and yellows and pinks. Uh, so that's really kind of the way that we went with some of our, our pairings. As I said, neutrals are very important, but I kind of like to use them as more of a supporting character rather than the main event. So I'd like to stick with the base color and then our complementary color and use neutrals as needed to just kind of support everything. So for our first look, I have leaned more towards the yellows and oranges. I absolutely love how mustard goes with green and frankly all different kinds of shades of yellow and orange, I think go really well with green. So I've paired it with this beautiful mustard yellow cardigan from Emmy Design. And to bring it all together too, I wanted to add in this little bit of an orange um, mustard color vintage belt buckle. 
and it goes really well actually with these beautiful buttons on the cardigan. And then of course, bringing in some of the neutrals, the tans, the creams. So we have this kind of camel colored hat here, a beautiful wood carved brooch. And then the shoes I have, these shoes are from Remix and these are two-toned cream and tan and then a lovely just brown and gold handbag. So you could definitely wear gold jewelry with this. You could change it up and um, just do gold tones instead of a wood brooch. You could do a gold brooch. Um, but I really like this look. This is more of a fall look, but if you wanted something more for springtime, I would add maybe a buttercream yellow or just a really bright kind of sunshine yellow. Orange is also a fantastic color for green. Um, so yes. I really love this, uh, this color combination together. Another color, of course, that goes well with green is red. But some of the concerns that I was hearing was that not everybody wants to look so Christmassy when you combine those colors. And I do think that playing around with different shades, uh, whether, you know, different shades of green, different shades of red, can really help to kind of steer away from looking so holiday-ish. Uh, sometimes that really bright tomato red paired with green can look very Christmassy. So this combination here, I chose this kind of a berry color in um, the cardigan. And of course it's a fair aisle, so it has these other colors in it. It has some gray and the, uh, the mustard color and the cream. So even though it's a fair aisle, which tends to be very wintry, um, I kind of feel like having those different colors in there just kind of breaks it up a little bit and um, kind of steers it away from looking too Christmassy. And I wanted to bring out some of the gray in here. So I paired it with this nice uh, light gray knit beret. And then we have this lovely cream floral brooch. Now, granted, you can change up your accessories, which will give it a different look. If you want it to look more Christmassy, you can wear more of a Christmas brooch. Uh, but kind of keeping in with more of a floral kind of steers it away from that. And then I've just added just this nice pair of flat shoes that are kind of in a, a cream color. And here is the final color pairing look. My patrons really wanted to see something pink, something a little bit brighter. And I did have a kind of bubblegum pink uh, cardigan, but unfortunately the style just didn't really go with this dress in particular. Uh, so I chose this kind of dusty rose pink, which I think goes really well. I paired it with this lovely hat with some beautiful pink flowers on there and this really amazing necklace. I believe I got this in one of my Redbird Vintage Box um, unboxings and the colors I think go really well. And then this darling little bag, which screams spring to me. And to keep the look as clean as possible, I chose these nude T-strap shoes. So for our second color, I have chosen this beautiful red skirt from Mod Cloth. I know that separates can be difficult sometimes to try and match, so I wanted to make sure that I added a separate in here and not just did all dresses. For this look, I have paired the skirt with this, uh, this is a custom made, shirt from one of my wonderful seamstresses, uh, Years Gone By Boutique. And I love it because this print actually gives you some hints as to what goes really well with these colors. You could have pulled out any one of these colors and it would have absolutely been beautiful together. And this is a really great example of the, it doesn't have to match, it just has to go. So you can see the red here in the buttons and in the bows here isn't the same red as in the skirt. The skirt's a little bit more of a berry red. These are a bit more of a kind of a tomato red, but they go really well together. The main color that I'm, I'm actually pairing it with is this teal color, which I think just complements the red so beautifully. So obviously you've got the, some of the teal in the print here. So I pulled that out in this gorgeous hat that I have that has red and teal in it and this lovely necklace as well. I stayed neutral with the belt and the handbag and if you're not really comfortable with adding 
a lot of color to your shoes, you could add a neutral color shoe, but I have these teal shoes, which I think go really well. I just think this is a really beautiful springtime look. For this look, I wanted to pair this with something a little bit lighter. So it kind of brightened up uh, the dark red and the dark black. So I chose this kind of robin's egg blue, kind of minty green blouse to go with it. And then I have this hat that has um, little light blue and pink flowers with some cream in there. Um, again, just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And then I chose this lovely um, cream colored floral brooch. And then to keep all of the neutrals together, I've got a pair of black Oxfords and a lovely black purse. Now you could absolutely change this all of the black out with like a tan or like a camel color. I think that would go very well. Um, but I really love this red and this kind of light robin's egg blue together. I think they look really beautiful. And here's the finished look for the red skirt. Now, obviously red, white, and blue go very well together. Um, but in order to kind of steer away from being so patriotic looking, Kind of like the Christmassy <laughs> look, I've introduced an, another color, which is this beautiful green. And to be honest, you could use anything. You could use yellow, um, pink, orange, purple, even. Um, just kind of introducing a third color just kind of steers it out of that uh, very patriotic looking style. But still, the main colors here are the blue and the red. So I've added a blue fedora and this lovely blue handbag, but I really think that the green, these pops of green in this necklace, the bangles, and also the shoes really just kind of helps to tamper down a little bit of that super patriotic red, white, and blue look. And now for our final color, blue, the color that I have most of in my wardrobe. Now. Blue is similar to green in my eyes, where honestly, there's not a lot that doesn't go with it, to be honest. So I feel like green and blue are the easiest to play around with and match different colors to. Uh, so this dress is from Vivian Apollaway. It is a just a lovely navy blue, um, solid color. So let's have fun with this. Now, I absolutely love blue and orange together. I think they are a match made in heaven. I love it. And then paired with some gold accessories mm, is just perfection. This is a cardigan, again, from Emmy Design. It is a rich pumpkin color. And then I have paired it with this brushed gold accessories, the necklace and this brooch here. And I think that just kind of adds to the richness. Um, and then I would actually wear this with a headscarf. Um, this one here, it has some blue in it. It has some orange. It has a little bit of green and pink. There's so many colors here that you could play around with. And scarves actually are a fantastic way to kind of figure out what goes well together, what colors go well together. If you have multicolor scarves, you can see what colors go in there and use that as your guide. And for shoes, I've paired it with these Rocket Originals. They almost kind of remind me of like a burnt orange. So that's pulling in some of the orange as well. And then a beautiful brown handbag. I haven't worn this outfit yet, but now that I see it all together, I'm really excited too. I've heard from several people that their mom or their grandmother have said to them that blue and green should never be seen. And honestly, I think that is just poppycock. I mean, look at this outfit. This looks so beautiful together. I love blue and green together, especially when they're in these kinds of shades, these really jewel tone shades, this Kelly green and the navy blue. It just absolutely goes. We have another Emmy Design cardigan, and, and then I paired it with this beautiful 50s style vintage hat and this lovely brooch. And both the hat and the brooch kind of add a bit of spring to it. Um, these are a little bit darker colors, so having these kind of lighter springy florals really just kind of helps to usher it into springtime. 
and continuing on with the color scheme, I have these beautiful green shoes from Rocket Originals and my vintage blue tapestry bag. So I hope if anything, if you've been told your whole life that green and blue don't go together, I hope that at least this outfit has shown you otherwise. <laughs> and now for the blue color pairing. So we chose this really lovely sweater, this cardigan, that doesn't have any blue in it at all. Um, it has the it has a dark gray, a kind of creamy white, and a kind of mustard yellow combination in there. But I really love how it goes so well with the blue. It kind of actually accentuates the blue a little bit. And one of the things that we discussed was because of the gray and the yellow in here, you could actually choose silver or gold jewelry to go with this. And I chose this lovely brooch that kind of has a hint of both. There's like a rose gold. Um, it's got the sparkliness of the rhinestones. And I think it, it blends really well with the, with the sweater. And then I chose this mustard color hat. And I stayed pretty neutral with the accessories with this lovely brown purse and two-toned Oxfords. I really like how this outfit came together. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this journey into color. I hope it was helpful for you and maybe gives you some a little bit of inspiration on how to pair different colors that you normally wouldn't have thought of. I would love to hear from you in the comments below on which look was your favorite that we put together. And if you have other color combinations that you just love that you'd like to share. Thanks again for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye.